traveled amidst the wilderness, walking the oblique roads and coexisting with nature. The forest communities have always lived in harmony with nature. Yet, it is a challenging existence in terms of modern amenities. To a great extent, they are at ease. However, are in need of technology to sustain environment-friendly practices. People here have managed to preserve the very resources they survive on. Yet, in some way, the resources are diminishing. A depleting water table, unstable weather conditions and non-yielding agriculture practices have made it necessary for the forest communities to embrace little changes in their traditional lifestyles. Efforts are being made to reduce the burden on natural resources. But these efforts would yield little or near to no results without community participation. Located in Mandavi block of Surat district in Gujarat, tucked away in the forests, Dhaj village is an example of community effort and government initiative to create a better life for the people. The Gujarat Ecology Commission as a part of the Ecological Restoration Scheme initiated the activities of creating a model eco-village through community participation. Eco-development village is a concept where you develop the village as per the ecological wealth of the village. The concept was to utilize the energy of nature, the water from nature, purify the soils which are found in nature, generate employment based on natural resources and its activities. The project implementation was aimed to create a pilot eco-village and dhaj match the criteria with 56 families and a population of about 275 people. The objective of this project was to contribute and promote rural economy with sustainable management of natural resources and develop and establish an eco-village concept for the promotion of environment conservation and to mitigate the impact of climate change. At the onset of the project, several consultation meetings like PRA were done. The approach was to incorporate the knowledge and opinions of villagers in the planning and management. These consultation meetings with various stakeholders worked as an important groundbreaking tool and helped mobilize the community. During these meetings, communities were made aware about the benefits of the project and the role of the community and their contribution. The second level of initiation was a baseline survey to determine the existing conditions and the use of various resources. The immediate focus was on water management and conservation. Thus, roof rainwater harvesting system was taken up based on the survey and as per the need of the community. Storing the rainwater and directly using it is a feasible option for the families. Rainwater is collected in the roof and transported through pipes to a storage reservoir. These pipes are interconnected and lead to the filter unit. The filter can be easily removed, washed and reinserted. Today, the whole village has rainwater harvesting system installed. The beneficiaries now have access to portable water during the summer months as well. The storage capacity of each underground tank is of 20,000 litres and 23 such tanks have been created in the village and the total rainwater stored amounts to 4,60,000 litres. વરસાદમાં જારે જે પણ વરસાદનો પાણી આવતો હતો તે એમ જ વહી જતો હતો એના માટે ઇકોલોજી દ્વારા ઇકોલોજી અને વન સમિતિ દ્વારા એક આ ભૂગર્ભ ટાંકા બનાવવામાં આવેલ છે એટલે જેથી કરીને જે વરસાદી પાણી આવે છે એ વરસાદી પાણી અમે ડાયરેક્ટ ભૂગર્ભ ટાંકા બનાવેલા છે એમાં ઉપયોગ કરી છે એ संग्रह करिए पीवा उपयोग करिए 
In addition to this, the water management of the complete area was carried out through watershed and recharge approaches. Check dams were created along the ridges outside the village based on the watershed approach to support irrigation and to recharge the groundwater. Recharge wells were also created in the close vicinity of the village to restrict surface water runoff and recharge the water table. These recharge wells are lined with concrete rings with perforations. Perforations let the water seep from the sides. Construction of these recharge wells have immensely helped in increasing the groundwater table. Today, the goal of the sustainable development goal is to make the goal of the sustainable development goal. And in this case, we have a great project. Here you can see that we have a deep aquifer recharge system. We have a great system to make the location of the area that is above the water. And here we have a great deal of the water that is above the water. जेती धीरे-धीरे पानी भराए, अने पची आ यहाँ जेत चारे बाजू काना करेला ची अमाती पानी अंदर जसे। हवे जारे पन तमे रिचार्ज करता हो त्यारे एक जान मार रखवानी जरूर छे के सिल्ट इटले के कैंप अंदर ना जाए। इटला माटे एक रेडियल फिल्टर करवा मार वेलु छे के पानी गाड़ी अने पची अंदर जतो हुए छ ये स्तर नहीं अंदर आपने मोटे भागे रिचार्ज करिए चाहिए कि जैसे लंबो समय सुधे आपने पानी मरी सके। चलो एक बार मैं आपने जो यू कि यह आज गांव नहीं बात करिए तो चौमा समय में उछड़ता कुआं जो ऐसे कि पानी तमें हाथे थे ले सको कुआं में अने पची उनाड़ा होता है पानी साव खाली थे जतो ऐसे अने � अने इतना मट्टे आ रिचार्ज वेल छे ये अत्यंत उपयोगी वस्तु छे अने आ एक टेक्नोलॉजिकली प्रूड टेक्नोलॉजी छे के जने काने खूब सारो लाभ थे ही सके छे। The project planning also envisioned promoting alternate energy sources to create a carbon neutral village. Bio approaches such as biogas and the use of renewable energy resources like solar energy have been successfully implemented on an individual and a community basis. Street lights of the village are substituted through solar-based LED street lights to reduce electricity consumption and promote the use of solar energy for the energy needs of individuals and the community. Ten solar-based street lights are installed throughout the village. Being a remote village, the power supply in Dhaj had frequent power outages. Rooftop solar panels have been installed on individual houses to reduce the usage of electricity and promote the use of renewable energy. All the households of the village have switched to LED to reduce electricity consumption. 100% solar-based home lights have helped the villagers all through the year. Maintenance is done at the local level. Solar lights give constant power supply without any dependence on the power grid. हमारा गांव ने इकोलॉजिकल विलेज तरीके पसंद करियो ये माटे खरे खर मने गोवराज छे कहें के हमारा गांव ने अंदर आ प्रोजेक्ट द्वारा जे सहाय मरी छे अने जे कामों थे आ छे इना था कि खरे खर गांव नो खूब जो विकास थायो छे अने ये माटे खास करीने जे सोलर लाइटो आपे ली छे ये सोलर लाइट थी खरे खर खूब ज अमने फायदों थे अच्छे जी भी नहीं लाइट आती है तो ये मां लगभग चौमा समातो लगभग तरह महीना तो अमने खूब ज मुश्किली पड़ती आती इन्हीं साथे बिजी स्ट्रीट लाइटों पर गांव मापे लिए छे अजे स्ट्रीट लाइटों छे ये दरेक गली गली अने आँखा गामनी अंदर छे इतले इनाथी � इलेक्ट्रिक जी लाइट हो चुकी जी भी नहीं ये लाइट पावर कट था ही तो ये हमने ये वो नथी लागत रात्रे के लाइट गई हुई इलेक खरे खर मने बहुत आनंद था ऐसे के आ रही थी जी सोलर लाइट आप ही छे इनाथी खूब आज गांव ने फायदों था ये ची। As an alternate energy source, 37 biogas plants with a capacity of two cubic meters have been installed at the individual households. The bio toilets created here use human and animal waste to create alternate energy and minimize the hygiene threat to the village community. 
The women folk of the village have immensely benefited through this as earlier they had to fend for fuel wood from the forest. It was a time-taking and cumbersome work. But with the introduction of biogas, cooking has become an easy task for them. It has also reduced the cutting down of trees and helps in preserving forest reserves. Replacing the traditional cooking ways with more fuel-efficient practices like cooking with pressure cookers has further decreased the fuel wood consumption. All the households in the village are provided with pressure cookers for fuel-efficient cooking. I have a biogas plant in the last seven years. I have a service plant in the last seven years. I have a service plant in the last seven years. गैस उत्पन्न थे न बहनों ने मरु जो ये बढ़ता ये सरसरी थे मरी रही हुई है जब दर्ज का मकामगिरी सर्वत मां मीटिंग करवावी थे मां वर्मी बेड किचन गार्डन अने बायोगैस नो त्राण प्रोजेक्ट न कामगिरी होती बहनों जोड़े मीटिंग करी मीटिंग करी न पहुंची बहनों ना डॉक्यूमेंट्स ली था अने जो समझान चे बायोगैस इकोलॉजी संस्था ना जो सुनील भाई छे इस सब भाई छे हमने जोड़े मीटिंग करी ना आ कामगिरी करवा मावी हमने जो बायोगैस मार्टे नो जो बजट छे ये पढ़े लोग कोई हमें काम करा पहला ये लोग कोई हमने फाड़न करी अत लग कामगिरी में हमने कोई रुकावट आवी ना थी ना कामगिरी में हमें सरोरता थी मैं पूरी करी छे वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट each household was provided with different colored dustbins for organic and non-organic waste. The waste is then taken just outside the village for segregation and disposal as manure. Animal husbandry plays an important role in the rural economy. It is much older than agriculture. People in rural areas often teach their children how to care for their animals. Under this pilot project, sustainable animal husbandry approach was promoted to improve animal husbandry. Apart from this, people were provided support to procure livestock of the best local breed that suits the ecology of the area. Linkage was established with tribal subplan of the tribal department and Sumul Dairy which helped families in procuring 22 Holstein Friesian cows. A fund of 42,000 rupees per family was utilized from the tribal department and Sumul Dairy. Not just the procurement of cows. The project also helped in forming the first women-led milk cooperative. When it began, there were seven women members and today the cooperative has 42 members and the production of the cooperative has grown from 15 litres to 160 litres in one year. Bhaj is equipped with a milk collection centre with electronic fat measuring equipment. The milk production of the village has increased manifold and the income generation through this has directly benefited the community. <laughs> मकान बने की होई कोई लोच तरफ थी ले बद्दी सुविधा लाइट मड़ी पंखों मड़ियो बद्दी जरी तो हमने कोई तकलीफ न थी पड़ी तो हम करता हमने आजे बेथी हड़ी लाखनु पेमेंट बेनो ले इसे घरे घरे चार थी पांच हजार जीवा बे पेमेंट था इसे बेनो ने इतने तकलीफ नहीं पड़ती Eco villages function on the principles of organic farming and similar approaches which promote sustainability. 100% families in Dhaj have used organic seeds, manure and pesticide for farming. In the last year, not a single family has used urea or chemical pesticides in their farmlands. In the last 30 years, it is now for the first time that nagli crop was done by 10 farmers in Dhaj. With 5 kilograms of seeds, they have harvested 200 kilograms of nagli. The Gujarat Ecology Commission has linked the village with the Krishi Vigyan Kendra, Surat, through which in-depth training was given to farmers on organic farming. The other area of focus under sustainable agriculture was the adaptation of agricultural technology such as drip irrigation 
Khet Talavadi for irrigation to minimize use of groundwater for it. Promoting crops which are more suitable to the local environment and are less water demanding. Today, Taj is a self-sustaining eco-village with the efforts of the local community, JFMC and the Gujarat Ecology Commission. Daj was visited by the students of the University of Michigan, USA, who studied their model and its implementation. The Institute for Financial Management and Research, Chennai, has selected the model eco-village project of Daj to document the initiative and its practices to share with the larger community. Now, the villagers themselves are maintaining things. They are maintaining record. They are self-employed. They are self-growing their agriculture with a high productivity, free of urea, and they have got a different life. I wish my country grow on this rural development path, because still in rural areas, we about more than 40 to 45 percent people live. Unless we make them happy and make them feel what government can do, they will never feel if they are living in a free, independent and economically advanced India. United by shared ecological, socio-economic and cultural values, this community has wholeheartedly extended its support and their efforts here have been exemplary. The efforts to showcase ways for sustainable development and environment conservation have paid off. <laughs>